How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Phoenix Wright. We've got to do the trial ladder. I totally forgot, actually. I was thinking that we were about to do an investigation. But yeah, now that I see that, I remember. There was a, a little break, and we're still in the trial. Oh, dear. Do I have to deal with uh, with Angel Star anymore? I really don't want to. Anyway. Okay. <sighs> you know, I didn't expect this game to be this long, just in general. I'm glad it is. It's, uh, it's quite satisfying, but before I knew anything about these games, even just with the original version, which is only four cases, that still took a long time. And now we're in case five, and we're in, like, the 60s. 15 minutes each for cases one through three, 20 minutes each for one for four and five. Like, there's a lot of fucking game to this game. It's taking a little longer because, you know, I'm reading everything out loud, and I'm talking over everything, so it would be quicker if I was playing it on my own and not LPing it, but it there's a lot to this game. I didn't expect them to be this long, so it's, it's cool there's so much to it. And there's plenty more games in the series after this one that I assume are similar to the judge's chambers. The one in the exhaust. We gotta, we gotta get it. We gotta see what it is. Our only weapon, a tiny, insignificant piece of cloth. I'm the one who's starting to feel tiny and insignificant, to tell the truth. Don't feel that way, man. Oh dear. Hola, partner. Hello. You brought your music with you, I see. When they say you show a red cloth to a bull, it'll fire up its temper. It actually really has nothing to do with the fact that it's red, as far as I know. I think bulls might be colorblind. It's, I'm pretty sure it's just the fact that you're waving it in front of their face. That's what they told me when I was a youngin, at least. Officer Marshall! What's up? Thought I'd come take a look to see at how the trial's going. Looks like I'm late. I've got the place locked down tighter than a fort in enemy territory. What is going on over there anyway? All the police I've seen these last two days have been really on edge. Don't you got enough on your plate without worrying about other people, compadre? Is there like a whole huge conspiracy going on here? You should be worrying about the chief prosecutor's taste in mufflers, for example. What? Um, Officer Marshall? The whole muffler thing didn't have anything to do with scarves. She wasn't even wearing a scarf. You don't say. How did you know about the muffler thing at all, but not know about the conclusion that it had nothing to do with scarves? I've seen the red breeze blow up my slender neck many a time. I said before that maybe Lana was trying to protect the true perpetrator. And didn't they say, like, they cut they cut off mid-sentence, like, they had a thing or something. That's what they were implying. Maybe it's him, and she's trying to protect him by saying that she did it. But Angel Star also says that she did it, so I don't know what's up with that. But she was wearing a red muffler that day. All right. Really, though? <laughs> like, see, this is what I'm talking about. I just have to sit here wasting time talking about it. But hey, what do you want? You want me to just be like, oh yeah, go, go, yeah, sure, sure, just go through the game just without questioning anything? I'm going to talk to the characters, I'm going to argue with them, and I'm going to theory craft because I feel like it would be boring if I didn't. So, like, really? Are you lying about that too? Like, this muffler shit is out of control. Any... Is there a muffler? Is that what the cloth is? Is there a muffler in the muffler? I suppose that could be the case. Right. So... She really was wearing one. Either that or you're lying too, but I guess you're not. So she was wearing one, but then she wasn't... She must have put... That must be what's in the exhaust, and maybe there's something wrapped in it. Something that it's wrapped around. Or something. I don't... Man, I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't know shit about shit. Like I said, half the fun of me doing this LP is to just stop and think about things and theorize and argue with the characters and get frustrated. I think that's what's fun about the LP. You wouldn't want me to just get everything right, just kind of go along with everything they say and not question it and get everything right immediately, you know? It's way more fun if I'm just like, I don't fucking know what's going on and if I get things wrong and I, I argue and theorize and everything. I'm sure that's most people's experience the first time through the games anyway, and I think it makes it entertaining. Especially when I have- whoa, terrifying. <laughs> Especially when I have uh, I've grown more accustomed to the game's logic, and I hope to do so 
more as I go through the other games as well. Yeah, you look like you're about to die. Because um, most of the things that I've come up with, like in case four, generally, they follow logic. Like, I, the, the things that I come up with, I have reasons for thinking of them. It's just that the game is insane. And so I'm wrong. <laughs> what is happening? Like, first of all, it's based off Japanese court systems, which is very different than anything that I'm familiar with. And then it's taken and turned up to 11 and made this over-the-top goofy thing. So, my logic is generally logical. It's just that the game is insane and it's not going to follow what a normal person is thinking. <laughs> and they're losing their minds right now. <laughs> Yeah, he is. Uh, who is this? Ah! <laughs> who are you? What the fuck just happened? This guy just showed up, looking like a weirdo. But anyway, yeah, all I wanted to say is... The game is insane. And I have fun with that, and I hope you do too. <laughs> so... What the... Who could this possibly be? Is this Zeus incarnate? I feel like he's Zeus himself. Hey, the temperature rose five... That's, that's what happens when Zeus comes in the room. <laughs> what the... F who are you? Say something! Please! You? Who's you? Who are you? For the love of God, I'm losing my mind! Speak! Stop blinking at me! Say so say something! Oh my god! Like, what the fuck? He just stood there for 10 seconds, staring. What the fuck? What the hell is happening? Udgy? Oh my god, what? Well, I can't say I expected this. What the fuck, Udgy, my boy? What is this guy's voice, even? Yes, indeed. Aji? What the fuck? Very afraid. <laughs> Sorry, but who are you? Raito, the attorney. What the fuck? I feel like I should give him Red White's voice. He's got the same kind of weird smile, except not evil. It may be, I don't know. So sorry about our little Worthy giving you all that trouble, eh? Worthy? Oh my god. So are you a prosecutor too? You're saying our little Worthy. We should all go swimming together. Why do you want to swim with people? What the hell? Little... Little Worthy? <laughs> I, I do thank this guy, though, for giving me some nicknames for everybody. <laughs> little Worthy. Udgy. You don't... Oh, the District Chief of Police. Really? Jesus. Ch Chief of Police. He's the top-ranking police officer in the entire district. Who knew? Say something! Stop doing that! It's terrifying! <laughs> I see how he gets fucking criminals to confess, probably. He just looks at them. Name's Gant. Damon Gant. Well, you're evil. I mean, what the fuck? Are you kidding? I don't know. Does that sound terrible to anybody else? Damon Gant? That sounds like a villain. Pleased to meet you, everyone. He's wearing gloves, too. I guess he's a murderer. Right, fucking Angel Star, Edgeworth Judge, pieces of shit? It's been over two years since you last came to this courtroom, hasn't it? Well, it's worthy here. Look at the poor fellow. I just thought I'd help out by bringing this. So it was. It was a muffler and a muffler. Double muff. My sister's muffler. So Miss Star wasn't just seeing things. God damn it. So that changes nothing, really, I don't think. But it does. I don't fucking know. This guy is gross to look at. I oh, stop. But to think that it was stuffed into that exhaust pipe, what are you doing? <laughs> this guy's weird. <laughs> oh, that, that's a surprise. A character in this game is weird? No. Stop! Stop with the awkward pauses! It's fucking freaking me out. 
It's really quite embarrassing, even for us. What's this? That's a sword sheath. Switchable knife. Okay. That was in the scarf? I said there's something in it. So there's a knife. Why is there a knife? Maybe that was the knife he used to defend himself, and that's what cut her hand. Which isn't a good, because that would mean she probably did it. Meekins also had a bandage, so it's still that. What kind of outfit are you running? Mr. Redworth? How could they miss such a vital piece of evidence? That's a good point. If you're investigators of this Lux, how do you expect us to do our job? Now wait a minute, Worthy. I've no desire to hear your excuses. I'm telling you to wait. Oh, didn't you hear me? Have a look at this document, where it says person in charge of investigation. There's no mistaking that signature. Miles Edgeworth. That's no fair. <laughs> the day of the crime, I had to receive a trophy. Your head in the clouds because you got that award? I know how you feel. But you're the person in charge. I forgot how the red-white voice was kind of oddly straining because I have to smile while speaking and it kind of hurts my face. <laughs> Don't be too upset. We'll find a way to clean up this mess that you made. This is the first time I've seen Mr. Edgeworth at a loss for words. Oh, that's happened plenty of times. You just weren't around. If you want to stick around, though, when Maya comes back, you two can fight to the death and see which one of you gets to be my permanent assistant. The court accepts this new evidence, but I'd like to ask the defense a favor first. Just to be sure, I'd like to take a look at the blade of this knife. The blade, Your Honor? Well, I don't see why not. Could you open it up for me, I wonder? Uh, I guess. I think all you have to do is push that switch and... If I cut my finger, Mr. Wright, I wouldn't be able to pound my gavel anymore. I've run out of things to say to you, Judge. I mean, there's really nothing left. I'm just gonna ignore you and move on. <laughs> I I think you'd be fine, really. You'd be, you'd be able to point, be able to pound the... All right, anyway. Just hurry up and open it. What, are you like that guy at the end of another who got a cut on the leg? <laughs> Have you guys seen that shit? Have you seen another... One of the four million problems with that show is that this guy gets a tiny ass cut on the leg, like a tiny one, and then like pretends that he's, his leg is broken and he can't walk and it's so funny. Anyway, so I gotta press the switch on the side. That one, I guess. <laughs> Examine. Yeah! Oh shit, there's dried blood on it! Look at this knife blade! The tip is broken off. And this dark red stain. Blood? No, ketchup. It might actually be. So we got another knife. This does not excuse the actions of the police department. I would like to hear an explanation from the chief of police himself. I'm terribly sorry, but could I ask you to testify for us? About the split between the prosecutors and the police? And this knife? Sure, sure thing. Not a problem. Not even a little one, really. Okay. I have no idea where this case is going, at all. Like, and I, I can't even really be confused or theorizing right now, because there's just too many different things. And really none of them relevant to the opening scene that we witnessed with the two buildings and the weird blue badger doll thing. So like, I honestly don't even know anything at all that is happening with this case. <laughs> so I'm just gonna, for a while, I'm not going to have much to go on other than random speculation. That was a bad day for the department. We weren't in any shape to do an investigation. A detective was killed up at the police department. See, what a mess. The time of the crime, 5.15. Scary coincidence, eh? It's not officially linked to this here case, so I can't talk much about it. Oh. So that, so right after I bring up the fact that it has nothing to do with the opening cinematic, it does. There were two murders at the same time. So that's what that was then, okay. So at the prosecutor's place and the detective's place, 
uh, two detectives were murdered at the same time? The fuck are you talking about? I mean, yeah, that's what we saw in the opening scene, and that's what I was wondering about. But that's crazy that that's actually what happened. Yeah, I know. That's crazy, right? <laughs> so... Now I have even less of an idea about anything. <laughs> anyway, we at the department were all flustered, as you might well assume. We were in the middle of a top secret investigation. Don't tell anyone, okay? What are you in the middle of investing? They keep introducing new pieces before I have any idea what the old pieces mean. Like, I think this case has the most going on with it. Even though case four, there was so much that I didn't know. You kind of got the general idea of who was involved and what was happening, even though it was complicated and there was a lot, including DL6 and everything. This case, there's so many people and things that I have no idea what any of it could possibly be. Like, this is the most complex of all, really, so far. I'd like to exercise my right to cross-examine the witness. Yeah. Okay, well, okay. The case at hand is about seven different things. But let's do it. Let's press everything, because I don't, I don't know what, with this case. I don't know what's up. Yeah, why is it special? Or are you talking like Phoenix with his special bullet theory that went nowhere? <laughs> that bullet thing, man. I was, <laughs> that was like the biggest thing for me. I'm like, this doesn't need to be a damn bullet, and they just insisted that there was. That's just the perfect example of me having a reason to think what I thought, but them just being on a different page. Which is fine, I don't want to be right all the time. But I would like to be close to the same page as the characters. <laughs> It, it really is, and I can't even- there's a million different possibilities. It sure is. When you lean over and you look at me like that, I want to die. Anyway, also when you just stare for a couple seconds. This knife was found on the scene of the crime. I think that makes it connected to the case, don't you? See, there's a lot of things that go on at the department I can't explain. It's delicate, okay. Sorry, Raito. Maybe there's something about the knife that will give us a clue. Let's examine the knife. Okay. I've also demonstrated perfectly clearly at this point that I really don't have that many voices that I can do. Because every new character in Case 5, I just am reusing a voice. <laughs> Emma gets Maya's voice. Presenting the piece of evidence that had me stumped all this time. Okay. Emma gets Maya's voice. Angel gets April's voice. Uh, Damon gets Red White's voice. I'm just reusing them at this point because I don't actually have any voice acting talent. <laughs> There's really only the handful that I can do. But he said I should try presenting the piece of evidence that had him stumped all this time. Which evidence is that? Can I, like, check this real quick? Can I actually look at the tag? Because maybe I was thinking that note, the 6S7, the whatever that says the thing, 12-2. Maybe what it says on there has to do with what's on the tag. Maybe that's, like, the price, because I see what looks like a dollar sign. SL92. No, that's different. SL92. It does? DL6. It's a... So this knife is from a case? Maybe the case that they're investigating. There's some huge fucking corruption scandal going on here, man. This is big. Like, this has got to be something crazy. This is like the knife from the case they might be working on, or from other another case. What? What? SL92. Again, there was this note. Oh, it's upside down! Fucking gene a dude! That says SL9. So that's 221. 
SL92, that's the... But it's, it was like SL9, like DL6, space, 2. So SL9 is its own thing. And then 221, the 21 might have just been cut off. That might be the date that it was put in, February 21st. What is the, What is it now? I think it's February right now, but I don't remember the exact date that it is currently. But yeah, that's SL9. Not 67S. Holy shit, should I present it now? Uh, I guess I should. He's asking for evidence, I have some. I don't know what it means, but I have some. An honest to goodness objection. This knife. This has to have something to do with the Detective Goodman. What do you mean? Aha! An honest to goodness, what do you mean from the judge? This is great. Yeah, laugh it up, buddy. I've been through all this multiple times. It's really, it's really, uh, doesn't affect me anymore. So yeah, see, it's SL9. There's a weird space between the L and the hyphen. I think that just has to do with how it ends up typing out. But then there's a very clear space between the 9 and the 2, and the 2 clearly goes into 221. This is important. Why? Over here we also have a memo that was on the body of the victim. What's this? 6 minus 7s, 12, 2? Not quite. No, 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 no. Your Honor, it's upside down. Upside. Down. The printed name on the memo makes it look like it's right side up. But turn it around and what do you get? 221SL9. Aha! When he wrote this note, he was holding the paper upside down. SL9. That's the same thing that's written on the knife's tag. Very good, Judge. What sound does the dog make? Jesus Christ. Anyway, I'm pretty sure I've said that before with this guy. Oh well. I guess the cat's out of the bag. And he just shoots us all. I win? What game is this guy playing? This knife was evidence in a case. It was stolen, that's what I'm saying. I want to know more about that, please. So this knife was stolen. Yes, but on the day of the murder. It was evidence, you say. Was it in fact a murder weapon? Nice, nice, nice. Good show, Little Worthy. It was a murder weapon as it happens. He really enjoys this, apparently. Ew. <laughs> it was an evidence from a case long since solved. So that's not what you were currently working on? It's something long since solved, but probably not. found in the exhaust pipe this is just this is just I don't even know I know nothing Jon Snow hard to think there isn't a connection there yeah 